Islam. We're launching a broadside against American Islam. Because what I say about multi in this country is that Britain has set a good example when it comes to multiculturalism. A great example. Yeah, but we all live in communities. Whereby, look, imagine, no, 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 imagine, imagine communities. Imagine black communities. We do. The Asian communities. We do. I the Arab communities. We do. But let me do let me tell you this. When you look at people who live in London, the experience we have in terms of interacting with people from different nationalities, it makes you special forces as a tourist. Because if you travel to India, as an English Londoner, you've already seen South Hall or understood Indians, the local corner shop. Oh, that's where Mr. Singh comes from. Or that's where blah, blah, blah. Or if you go to Africa, I'm simply saying to you, multiculturalism, whether we embrace it or not, of course we live in our own polarized communities. Of course there are still differences. But I'm still saying what we have here is a better example of what we have in most of the world. And so we should not become complacent. We should work on how can we try and improve on this model? Let me tell you a quick story about when I was in India. When I was in India, I was biking around India. And I bumped this white guy who had been out biking around for a year on this end. So I traveled in front of the wife. With him even on there. And then when it came to the end of it, about a week later, when it came to the end of his vacation, he was returning back to his country. And we went out for dinner, and he broke down and he started crying over me. And he was sobbing uncontrollably. And I said, what the hell, what's wrong with you? Yeah, what I don't want my company, man. Go where you're going, innit? just made great friends and become good buddies. I said, what the hell are you crying for? What the hell is all this about? And he broke down and said, I've got a confession to make. your friend I said, what is it? He said, I'm a racist. He said, I hate black people. He said, I'm part of a racist organization in the United Kingdom, in Britain, that have attacked non-white people. And he said, you know, he said, traveling and traveling around the world and opened his eyes, eyes to something new. So now he saw Asians or Indians in a different light because he had an experience of traveling. Why he was crying was because he had to turn back to the world he left behind. Where his family and friends were racist. And so how did they turn back to that space with a whole new awakening and a light? Yes, but they plundered India instead of they called gratitude. I mean, I could then, I could understand racism before black people were like They brutalized Kenya and some of the minds. Now you've been quite true. How are you, my brother? You're white boy. So, you're from Iraq. What do you have to say? Bush and Blair ruin my country. He's from Iraq, and he says Bush and Blair ruin his country. He should go back. He should go back. Stop the benefits. Stop. 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 Tyrell, show this man some respect. No, I won't. Hold on. Allow him. Hold on. He's not here for you. Our boys lost their life. He's free of Our boys. Our boys. Yeah, yeah. You should still be out there. Hold on. Hold on. Suck it in. Sir. It's not every day you can hear from someone's own personal opinion. Had he stood up here and said, oh, America was great, the Britain was fantastic, you would endorse it. But I believe we have a responsibility to listen to what this man has to say. The man has said he's from Iraq and Bush and Blair ruined his country. Now, you with your arrogance, you don't even want to hear anything he says. It's, imagine if a terrorist bombs in America and says, I don't want to hear about September 11th. Tell you. That's the arrogance you're showing. This man. Why don't you ask him why? Let's ask him why. Let's ask him why. Yeah, let's ask him why. Sir, 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 you have said, you have said that, um, that Bush and Blair destroyed your country. Can you tell me how and why? By his soldiers. By his soldiers. And the gangs, the soldiers and the gangs. Do you know, do you know people who have died? Do you know any, do you know any family members, any family members who died in your war? He says 12 members.